got that part taped up, I decided to do the brown first. So you see how I've got it taped up? And now I'm going to take my heat gun and get rid of my lines. And I'm going to use a real small, soft brush. It's kind of wonky looking. But I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put real, very, very thin coats on here. If I can see, if I cannot see the white, when I get that first coat on there, I've got it too thick. So just put it real, real thin because these, you can put three and four coats, but they've got to be really thin or your paint's going to peel up and you're going to have a mess trying to do all these little tiny blocks. So let me get that done. And I don't know if, um, what kind of tape y'all using, but I ran out of my one inch and half inch, so I'm using, I had a whole bunch of these over here, and I thought I just need to go ahead and use them up. So I'm splitting it in half, instead of having to turn it around and use the other side, because I can't stand to waste it. So I'm just splitting them in half so I can just throw that away when I get done with it. Not these now. I'll, I'll flip these around. All right. I just want to tell you about that. And then you know you use your little razor to get down in there. I'm going to show you that on one of those how-to videos. I promise I will. I might even show you on here. Well, here. Before I forget it. Like if I wanted to tape up that one, I'm going to put my tape down like that and rub it. And then I take my razor and just lay it on that line and cut it. See that? And then if I wanted to, say if I wanted to cut that line, I'm just going to lay it on there. Lay it right on that line and hold it down and pull it and it cuts it just very, I love it. I love using those, these just little um, paint scrapers called a mini scraper. I got them on uh, Amazon. I think you get, I don't know, six or eight or ten in a pack. I can't remember. But when I'm doing two and three quilts at a time, it's nice just to have them laying around so I can grab one easy. Okay, let me get started. See what I was talking about? That's my first coat, and I could see my white through it, so I know I didn't get it too thick. But I'm probably going to put maybe two or three more on there. But I have to remember, because the other brown that's going to be up in here, I have to do the same amount of coats or it won't look right. All right, I'm going to keep going. ended up putting five real thin coats on it. Now, you, you could have put like a darker coat, like a red underneath it, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to take a chance of changing the shade of that brown. So I just, I mean, it's the same amount of work. I just put five coats of the brown, and it, it got to the shade that I wanted it to be. With that white background, you know, it, it took a little while to get to that dark brown like I wanted. But it's okay. And I'm going to let that sit there and just kind of sit for a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes before I start peeling it off. Because I started peeling this off, and I mean, it, it was okay, but I just, I said, you know what, I don't have to be in a hurry. So that's the one thing about painting a barn quilt. Don't get in a hurry. <laughs> All right. So, I got a long way to go. But, we'll get there. I don't think that I'll come back as I'm taping up all these other 
spots because I showed you that and I showed you how I cut the tape. So I'll just be back in a little while. I just wanted to give you a an update on where I am. This is all the brown and underneath that's white. I painted the yellow over here. Uh, well, yellow gold. Now, I'm, I'm going to finish this one and I still have the white to do on this side. But it's all you can do really to do two sections at a time. You can try it if you want to, but you're usually lapping over into another section, so it's just easier for me to do it um, two sections at a time. And if you'll notice, I changed tape. That big wide tape was just getting on my nerve. And I was splitting it in two, and it was still too thick for my little, uh, my little squares. So I got, uh, I found this roll. So I guess we're going to see which one works the best, right? This is my Scotch uh, delicate surface tape that I love. I can see through it so I can tell if I've got it in the right place or not. But then this one is uh, it's Scotch blue. It's for sharp lines. And I can't remember, I've got two rolls hanging over there, and I can't remember why I wasn't using them. But they were full rolls, hadn't even been opened, so I don't know. We're going to try that, because it's just much easier to split this than it is that big, thick stuff. So I guess I'm going on Amazon after a while and get me some more tape. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep you posted. I'm getting ready to get rid of all these little bees right here. Y'all see what I didn't do? This is supposed to be white. All oh, this is going to be brown. So I've got to tape that up before I paint it brown. And I would not have even seen that had I not been just now trying to get rid of that all those ink lines. I was getting rid of my uh, heat erasable lines and just looked up and saw it. That's part of his... Uh, that's part of the eagle's body. I think that's part of his shoulder. Anyway, I'll fix it. I'll be back later. I'm getting there. I decided that I would paint that eagle's face and top of his body before I did the other sections over here just so that I would know I had him centered in the middle. And you see I've got part of the wing going up through there and there's the navy. I know it's dark, but I, I wanted to stay true to the red, white, and blue. But, and our stars are going to be this uh, sunset, sunset glow. And I'll show you how I'm going to do those too. All right, let me keep at it. I did want to ask you guys a question. Now, I put the other video up that's just the pattern, and I'm just now painting the eagle. I'm kind of running out of time. I, I know I won't be able to talk very well after I have that surgery, and I wanted this one up for you guys to have time to paint it if you wanted to for the 4th of July. But anyway, um, is it helpful to you guys if I paint the barn quilt in a second video each time. I could do that. I could do all of them in, um, in one or two, in two parts. I could do the pattern in part one like I did this time. And I've done that a couple of other times too. Uh, I think that one hummingbird, I did it in two or three parts. So 
for you guys that follow my channel and many of you have painted barn quilts because you've told me that you have uh, from my videos. So I want to keep making it better and better. You know, I don't want to just get hung up on one way of doing things and that wouldn't be the right way. So you guys that have done this before and followed along my channel, would you tell me if you think that I should do all of them in two parts? Like the pattern in part one and the painting in part two. Because the folks, what I'm thinking is if folks know how to paint barn quilts, they can just get the pattern and go on. But if somebody don't know how and they they see this one particular pattern that they would like to do, then they can always go to part two and watch it being painted. If you would let me know that in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. Because that really would mean a lot to me to do it the way most of you guys would like to see it done. Because, I mean, this YouTube channel is for all of us, not just me. So, let me know, and I'm going to keep going here, and I'll be back. Well, I'm getting there. I got the eagle's head. I don't have her the beak yet, but and I don't have the eye either. But let me tell you, you know I had this Royal Navy, and that's what I've always done my uh, flags in, and it's turned out fine. But with this particular barn quilt. That Royal Navy just it it just wasn't enough contrast, and it the wing was just getting lost. So I repainted. Thankfully, I had only done this section in that Royal Navy, and even the the bright yellow shows up better now. But I changed it to sapphire lace. And that's Valspar as well. But I went from Royal Navy to Sapphire Lace, and you see the difference? And I, I really think I'm going to like this better. And the person who sent me the picture, that picture had a, a lighter blue. So that, that might have been the reason that, uh, that they chose the blue that they did whoever drew that barn quill. So, they knew something I didn't, right? <laughs> All right, I'm still working on it. I need, and here's my stickers. Now when I get about three coats on there, real thin, and make sure I don't have any ridges going on, when that's dry, I'm gonna place my sticker down and then walk off from it and let let it, uh, well, I'm gonna walk off from this for a little bit and let it dry. And then when I know it's good and dry, then I'll, I'll put my sticker down and then I'll tape up all that and paint over top of everything with this uh, sapphire lace. And when that's good and dry, I'll just take my pick and pull my sticker off and I'll have me a real pretty sunset glow star. That's the plan. I'll show you how it turns out in a little bit. A squirrel out there mad at the cat. Y'all see what I was talking about? So I painted that and got it dried and I stuck my stickers on there. I took my card and burnished it down, just making sure I had that good and sealed. Now, I'm going to tape up all this and paint the uh, sapphire lace all in there. And when that's dry, I'll just peel that sticker up and supposedly I'll have a star. That's the way it's happened in the past. There's another video that I did 
uh, Memorial Star. It's four or five videos back, I think. And I showed you that method of making stars as well, but they were bigger. Uh, that was on a three by three, so those stars were like five inches, where these are just maybe two inch stars. And I had made some more on my Cricut, but I just really felt like they were, they were just too big for that little point, star point there. So I decided to just use my stickers and I had a whole roll of them. I guess I got them on Amazon. I'm sure I did. Okay, I got it taped up and I'm ready to start painting over top of that. As I'm looking at that, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like a fox. The way I've got it taped up and there's his eyes. Okay, it's getting late in the day, right? I need to concentrate on this as an eagle, not a fox.